Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you a real Cisco demo lab and show you some layer 2, layer 3 troubleshooting using ARP. In this demo lab, you have two switches, four PCs, and a router. Your task is to find out the IP address and MAC address of these PCs. In this situation, you are working remotely and you do not have direct access to these PCs. You only have access to your network gear. So how you are going to find out the IP address and MAC address of these PCs? So let's use our troubleshooting skill, which is layer two, layer three troubleshooting skill to find out these IP address and the MAC address and where these PCs are connected to. So let's go to switch one and issue a command show VLAN and these two PCs are connected to VLAN 62 and you go to switch two and issue a command show VLAN and these two PCs are also connected to VLAN 62. So all these four PCs are connected to one VLAN and go to this router and find out what is the IP subnet associated to VLAN 62. To do that, issue a command show IP int brief and you have two IP addresses here. So let's find out which is associated to VLAN 62. To do that, issue a command show run int eth 0 slash 0 dot 21. This is associated to VLAN 1, which is the native VLAN. So this should be the one associated to VLAN 62. So issue a command it's zero slash zero point one three four. Sure it is. It is connected to VLAN ID 62. So the subnet we are looking at 10, 10, 10, zero slash 24 because subnet mask is 255, 255, 255, zero. So now let's look at the ARP table. So IP ARP. And you only have the ARP information for these two VLANs. That is the SVI for these two VLANs. SVI means switched virtual interface. That is the layer three interface. So your main purpose is to find out the IP address and the MAC address of the devices connected to this subnet associated to VLAN 62. To find out all the devices connected to this subnet, you can do a ping for the broadcast IP and you can find out all the IP address belong to this subnet and their MAC address. So issue a command ping 10.10.10 10 10. the broadcast IP is 255. and you will get the reply from all the hosts that are live in this network. So in this example, we only getting IP response from two different IPs. That is 182 and 40. We are not getting response from other two PCs on that VLAN 62. So there must be an issue with the device or there must be an issue with the trunking. So let's go to the switches and find out what is going on with this trunk. You can see there is an already error message saying there is a native VLAN mismatch. So that must be the issue going on right now. So in trunk, you see the native VLAN is one. And let's go to switch and issue the command show int trunk the native VLAN is 2 
So we need to fix the native VLAN on the trunk to resolve this issue and other two PCs respond to the ARP request. So let's go to switch two and the trunk port is it zero two. Let's try to run int it zero dot zero switch port trunk native VLAN is two. So we want to fix this to VLAN one and T int it zero slash zero switch port trunk native VLAN that is one and now we go to R1 and do the same thing. We should get four up response. So basically, we only have two devices with an IP address in this network. That means other two PCs in this network doesn't have an IP address assigned. I'm going to do some more verification on switch two to confirm this. To do that, I'm going to issue the command show int status and you see PC one and two are connected to port ETH01 and two. And I want to see they have live MAC address. So MAC address table interface ETH01. That is zero slash one. It has a MAC address zero two. It also has a MAC address, but these MAC addresses are not in the ARP table because there's no IP address assigned to these PCs. So this confirms that these two PCs doesn't have IP address assigned to them. So let's look at the ARP now. Show IP ARP and you have the MAC address for these two devices. So let's look into where these MAC addresses reside. I'm going to use the last four digit of the MAC address to filter it out, but you can use the full MAC address also. In here, the MAC addresses are 6700, 6F00. So let's go to switch one and find out show MAC address table include 6700 6F00. Let's go back here and find out 6F00, 6700. So both of them are in switch one. One PC is associated to ETH02, other PC is associated to ETH03. If you go to switch two and issue the same command, show MAC address table, include 6700, there is no output, 6F00, there is no output. So this is how you use ARP in a network to locate particular devices in the network. ARP is a very useful tool when it comes to layer two, layer three troubleshooting. Hope this video is helpful for you. If you like the content of this video, give me a thumbs up. Also consider subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification for future video updates.